All right, um, just wanted to real quick put together a tutorial on uh, ball stat, ball score. Um, I'm going to set up a ball stat for 1969. I'm going to get rid of uh, most of my stuff that's already in here because I was just... Let's just do that. Delete. I don't want to get rid of everything. Um, just want to create a new league. Go into ball stat. No league open. And uh, if you're doing a regular major league uh, baseball replay, just click right on this button and then type in 1969 and it'll give you a nice clean uh, name for your league. Uh, most time it'll be nine innings for normal length. Divisions, you click down here for two divisions if there's just uh, the East and West. And, uh, three divisions if there's the Central. And it'll throw them right in there for you. And um, I always put mine in a different uh, location than the default. So hit Browse. And for me, go to C, Baseball, and the year, 1969. And we're going to say OK. Click Next. And make sure everything's OK. And click Finish. And yes, I'd like to do that. And it's going to say OK. Empty Backup. Say OK for that. And I do use Ball Score. And we're going to go in and show you how to do that next to get your teams in there. So OK, but the Exit Ball Stat now. And uh, you're good. Open, ready to use. Your ball score, your, your score sheets here, but as you see, there's none of them. Um, your web builder and uh, all your reports. And one of the things I'll do, and I'm going to mention that now while I'm still in ball, ball stat, is I'll go right up to the reports, and uh, I will go into. Let me see how. I, how I remember to do this. Um, yeah, there we go. Go into your custom report maker, total reports, and just make sure you have everything that you want run um, clicked on um, or unclicked. Leader reports. Um, I thought there was something in here I I did but it looks like everything's covered total report I like I think this is what I like all 39 total reports because I believe that gets standings and everything taken care of in there and um, then you come down here and you cl click click re uh, re create reports. Normally I'll do that after I've run all the teams through. That'll set you up for standings and everything. And I'll show you at the end of this tutorial, I'll go into my 1980 and show you where to find that uh, where to find that report. So you're done with ball score now on ball stat. I mean, we're going to cancel that. You close that out. Go into ball score, and we're going to select the league right here, and we're going to go find 1969, and uh, put that over here in baseball, 1969, click on the 69 league, and boom, there we go, and uh, you do want everything direct to it. Now, you creating teams, um, so... For 1969, I don't think I have what I want here. Yeah, I got a little schedule right there. San Francisco and Atlanta. Uh, San Francisco at Atlanta. So we'll set those two teams up. So we'll go into, uh, yeah, let's get a date on that, be official. We'll go into 4-7-1969, uh, San Francisco, Atlanta. Go into game setup. Yes, and 
uh, April 7th. Type the number in. 1969. Okay. And then right here, we're going to go into, I believe it's tabletop functions. We're going to open roster. And we're going to come down here. I already had these preloaded. I get these from um, Retro Sheet or ATMGR. I prefer Retro Sheets rosters because they are they're complete with right, left, and and everything. And you come into where you have your roster. You put those roster files in the roster um, tab in the uh, location where you've saved your league. And uh, you'll see mine's right here. And I have all my rosters in there. Um, select, uh, in this case, would be San Francisco. Open. And then we're going to come down here. And uh, the LUUFs I get from ATMGR for baseball for Windows. And we're going to click on LUF lineups into current roster. And we're going to go in and look for annual trans LUF. Open that up. San Francisco Giants. OK. Click OK. And as you see, we have a whole roster here for uh, San Francisco. Then we're going to load the lineup. Oh, that didn't work too well. Yeah, we'll have to abort and try this again. Tabletop functions. And that should do it. works this time. I just try to dry run and it worked fine. There we go. Now, as you see, all your lineups for the season are now in there. And you can verify these using various sorts, uh, sources. Go on Ballstat, uh, or ball, ball, uh, Baseball Reference, um, Ronbo uh, Baseball Sim Research has some really good uh, uh, replay um, guides and uh, score sheets uh, with the lineups already filled in. And you can also get the information from RetroSheet if you know how to use RetroSheet. Uh, I, I'm fair with it. I use Excel to read it. You know, a lot of people who know code have better ways of getting in there. Um, that is not I. So anyway, we're going to select 4-7. And uh, the lineup's already in there. We're going to say flip. Oh, no. Before you do that, and this is important, while you still have this roster unsaved and everything, because once you save this, if you change this name, it will really screw with your uh, results, and you'll have a hard time getting everything back together to recognize the players and whatnot. Put the team name in here. Normally, I'll put uh, San Francisco. Make sure you spell it right. Giants. And then I'll put uh, NLW behind it. So I know that they, they're in the West. And, um, and then come down here and put uh, Save Roster. And that should be everything you need for the Giants. Now we're going to flip it green. And we're going to go into Atlanta. Open. And then we're going to go into Tabletop Functions. You see I can open that roster via this button or via select load roster over here because we all the rosters in there. And we want to go LUF lineups in the current roster. Again, we got to find LUF right there. Open. And we're going to find Atlanta. There's Atlanta. And we're going to click OK. And hopefully this time it went without a, 
without a hitch and of course it did so there you go your LUFs are all in there all right now we are ready we will save the roster and then we're gonna flip and the game will be saved oh I did it and I think I think it's not too late flip it again Let's go in here. Uh, see how easy it is. I'm going to scrap this anyway um, when I'm done. So it'll be real easy to go into. Uh, I believe they were in the West in that season. All right. Bear with me while my uh, OCD kicks in. And I verify this because even though I plan on scrapping it, I. Uh, Got to be precise. I don't want to give bad information. And yes, in the West. That should be a really good game because those were the top two teams in the West. So we'll put NLW. And we're going to click that old save roster again because I don't want to. So now, the other thing I like to do is there's this little button right here. And you click on that, and you can put your own uh, colors and everything in. Um, so I'm going to go through this, and I'm just going to set up a uh, one of these blank icons here. You know, say select icon. I'll go in there, and I'll put uh, Braves in 1969. Cause case you have multiple seasons going and now for older seasons I don't like any of this I don't use the shadow don't use the slot board don't apply gloss I do like my pencil and my unsmiley face and then we're going to select a color this is for this area right here so with the Braves I'm thinking maybe I like a dark blue so we'll go in and uh I think you can grab these anywhere, but I always grab them in the ball stat area. And um, you can get them in the RLM background. Um, I don't like those as much. I usually grab mine right down here in the TM. Um, I think that's team colors. And uh, the Braves. I think I kind of like this one right there. And you see that puts a color in there for you. And the back iron color, uh, 1969. Let's go in and do this right again. Um, Internet Explorer, Google, dressed to the nines. Already there, you see I've been there a few times. The dressed to the nines Hall of Fame and our exhibit uh, uniform database. Select the league, National League. 1969, 1969, all National League clubs, and display. And we are doing Atlanta. Oh, I was doing San Francisco. How safe? Save us under the Braves. We can do, we can do that later. Get confused. And it's not too late to change it either. Let's get San Francisco. Start all over again. San Francisco for that season. Uh, a little orange. And a little black. Um, and gray. Not a whole lot there. So we'll give them. Let's see if we can find some kind of a dry orange. We'll do this again then. Giants. 1969. Go in, do select icon again. Go back down to the TMs. And let's see if there's an orange we like. I didn't like that orange. It doesn't usually come out right. That one, let's see what that looks like. Eh, I'm alright with that one. Then we're going to come over here and hit that background color. Go ahead and select black. Usually makes pretty good giants. And that looks pretty good there. And, um,. And I like these to match or closely match uh, team colors also. So there's no yellow there. And orange won't work. Uh, 
might get away with a gray. Doubt it. So let's go black on that. And uh, the blue and the green. Green, I think we can actually probably get away with a gray on that. Yeah, because it's a little dark there. And then the blue. Let's go. Uh, can we get orange? I don't think so. Eh, doable, but I don't like it. Let's go black. And uh, that'll be my giant's colors. And what's to do with that? And then, we'll, so once you get that the way you want it, you'll hit the RLM and, and click this button right here, attach theme. Yes, I want to attach you, this, associate this theme with this roster. And uh, I always just hit save roster again, just in case. And um, you're good to go then. Um, so we'll flip and uh, come back to do the Braves again. So close that one out, come back up here. And we're going to go down here and we'll get the one underneath of it. And we'll just talk about the Braves 1969. Get rid of the shadow, get rid of the slot board. And uh, let's see, back here to address the nine. Previous Braves. We got a little fun with this. Um, white, light blue, dark blue. See any other colors in that? You might have a little bit of red there in the. Uh, so you might get away with putting a red red lettering in there. So let's do that. Light blue and dark blue. Dark blue being predominant. So let's see if we can get a light blue icon. Back up to the TMs. Let's try this one. And the background color. That will be, that doesn't look bad. And we'll go uh, get rid of that. Let's use the same blue, make it a little darker. That looks all right. Uh, light blue will stay. Let's get rid of the green. Let's see if we can get a red in there. Bring that up more into the maroon. Always find red. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. So let's bail on that one. Let's get a little gray going on then. Dark gray maybe. And I don't like that. Let's try light gray. That's yeah, better. That looks pretty good to color scheme to me. All right. So we'll go in RLM. Attach theme again. Yes. And so when you get done scoring your game and uh, you export it at the end by using these two buttons up here these next time you um, open up will all be green because that means they found matching names in um, ball score or ball stat I mean so um, there you have it and then uh, I always like to keep my base runners open um, as you see I've already got these set I like to have the batter a uh, year-to-date stat showing here and a picture year-to-date stat showing there you can do that on your own I like the uh, the um, scoreboard showing that's selectable up here and uh, location not set uh, that'll be Atlanta I can't remember but uh, we'll call that Fulton County probably already have it in there and you can do that and um, a new team match that's going to show because you haven't exported it to ball score yet, a ball stat yet. And there you have it. Um, if you look at my videos on my web page, uh, YouTube page, you will see that uh, a lot of scoring and everything for ball stat. Uh, if you have trouble scoring, maybe that'll help you out. And I'll also. Uh, touch base on some of these things but th that shows you basically how easy it is to do all this um, we'll close out uh, 
I'm going to save that because I do have 1969 and I like that uh, season. So let's go oh, while well, I'm tutorialing it here. I'm go to Retro Sheet and show you where you can get them, them rosters. Um, don't click on this, that'll give you a dead link. Go to Event Files. Nope, oh, that gives me a dead link. And never mind, let's go try the Retro Sheet. There you go. I'm going to one up and give you a dead link. Um, go into, I believe it's play by play files. Yes. And then come down here to regular season event files. Click on the season you want, 1969 in this instance. And we're going to put save as, and I will put that also in 1969 because that's the way I do things. And as you'll see, I already have it in here. But you would do the same thing, download it and in there. So, um, now for shits and giggles, let's just replace that. And do everything, uh, okay, couldn't be downloaded. Let's not worry about it then. And I'll go in there to 1969, and I will delete. show you if you open up that zip um, all these EVAs EVNs these are the play-by-play -play files for every game that was ever entered and and um, researched by a retro sheet really good resource if you just know how to get in and, and utilize the stats um, there's a lot of different uh, things that you need to know um, I use all, I think it's 95 fields, and I put them into an Excel sheet, a huge Excel sheet, and I run macros on it to dig out the information I want, and it has been real accurate. So I've been using that to uh, create uh, the seasons that uh, are not very uh, complete. Um, you can get the information a lot of information out of retro sheet and you just extrapolate to fill in the blanks it's a pretty good resource now i'm getting off base here's your ROS files okay you want to take and if you extract all this to um i think i call it uh, like 1969 retro sheet or whatever then you're going to take all your rosters here all these rs files even include team 1969 that's not going to hurt and um, okay copy them and you're going to go back up to your home directory and uh, where ball score and balls that have put the rosters you're going to paste them in there and I'm not going to do that because I don't want to paste over the work I just did but you can see because I've been merging the LUFs um, through ball, ball score that my Atlanta roster and my San Francisco roster are now 80 kilobytes instead of one or two. So um, that's a good way to keep track of who you've done work on already. You don't really need to, but uh, anyway, that's where you find the rosters. Those are the ones I prefer to use. Um, there are also some of Mark Miller's baseball goodies. Um, he has a Delta Forums page also. Um, if you have trouble finding his site, and um, and you can also find some rosters in um, ATMGR, I believe. We'll go there next, just so I can show you where to find those. Uh, Yahoo groups. You'll probably have to apply for the group. Um, I have. Um, I use it a lot, and it's it's the ATGM. ATM GR F O R B B W automatic transition transaction manager for baseball for Windows. Um, that's for I believe it is baseball for Windows is um, right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Anyway, this is good for a lot of different stuff. That's the one I want to go on. And then here's their files. And once you join the group you'll have permission to download these files. And you see they have them all by decades. And you can go into the 60s. And uh, 1969, ATM GR, ATM SIP, Save As, 
I'm going to take out the 1969 again. You see I already have it there. We'll try saving again. And uh, has completed. So um, th that's where you find the stuff that's good for you. Um, helps with a lot of different, uh, keep making things easy, particularly ball stat, ball score. So uh, now we'll go back in 1969. Go ATM, zip. And uh, there's the LUF file. That LUF file, I usually put it in the rosters, but you can put it um, down here in uh, in, um, any, in any of these areas. This uh, LUF is also a valuable resource for my, um, that's where I get the data to do my um, uh, pitching status uh, helper um, along with the uh, and Tran ATM, that's where I get a lot of my transactions for each season for my uh, yearbooks. So you see those on my web pages, on my, my, my videos also. That's where I get the data. Um, there are several other good resources. Um, I've posted links to those also. But uh, that's just to show you where you get these, and they're essential for ball stat, ball score, but it's to show you how easy it is to set up a season and have all your LUFs and everything in there. The only thing you may need to do is um, sometimes the names don't match correctly. So you can go in, if you go into the LUFs and um, yeah, cancel. And you uh, are going through your lineups and uh, you, ah, go to roster, go back into that one. That's San Francisco. And we'll load. And if you notice a name's missing, go in like baseball reference for that game and find out who the player is that's missing. And then you can go in here and um, edit, select the player and make their name match exactly the way that uh, that, it, that it is. In the, actually, I'm trying to remember how I do that. I go into the LTA, LUF and I find out how it is in there. And then I make this name match that because that's how it picks it up on the LUF. I've ran into that in uh, a couple of names in 2008 and I think one or two names in 1980 also. It's very rare. But if you make this name match the one in the LUF file, LUF file can be opened up as a uh, as a CSV or uh, an Excel. I like Excel better, and uh, and uh, that's how you take care of that. Just uh, that way you don't forget when you load the LUF that you haven't uh, got a uh, player in the lineup. Something to think about. And that, that does it. Simple little um, tutorial for how to set up ball stop ball score.